Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain what is a shelving filter. A shelving filter, also referred to as a shelf filter, boosts or attenuates either the high level or the low level of the frequency spectrum. There are two types of shelving filters. One is the low shelf filter and the other is a high shelf filter. Well, each of these categories are further classified into two different types, which is the boost or cut. So there is the LSF low shelf filter boost version and the LSF cut version. And similarly for high shelf filter, there is a HSF boost version and HSF cut version. All right, here's a typical shelf filter graph. In fact, this is a low shelf filter, which is being boosted. The reason why it's called boost is because the lower end of the spectrum has been boosted from 0 to 9 as it's evident in the graph, whereas the higher end of the spectrum has been left untouched. So that has neither been boosted nor attenuated, but just left untouched. We'll look at different types of shelving filters later in this video. So let's study the graph in more detail. In the above graph, we do observe there is a transition band, you know, over which the filter applies the gain change. In this example, the filter is applying a change, you know, it's actually boosting the lower end frequencies from a level of 0 to a level of 9. And there is a gradual, you know, transition band. It's not abrupt. So what happens in this, you know, transition? So in case of a low shell filter, once the amount of gain is reached, for example, you know, once it has been, you know, moved from 0 to 9, the gain remains constant there, down to the very low end of spectrum. It doesn't change anymore. And the same is true for high high shell filters, you know, once the full amount of gain is reached, it just remains constant, you know, it doesn't, you know, change, it doesn't increase or decrease, it just remains constant. So shell filters have this philosophy, they start from zero, either they go to the top or the bottom, but they just remain the same. So what is a low shell filter? We've already discussed the types of shell filters. So indeed, a shell filter which boosts or attenuates frequencies below a specified cutoff is called a low shell filter. And there are two types of low shell filter, which is the LSF boost and LSF cut. So the low shell filter, what it literally does is either boosts or attenuates frequencies below a specified cutoff. Now, this is totally user dependent. The user may choose to boost or attenuate, but it boosts or attenuates all the frequencies below the cutoff and it leaves all the frequencies above the cutoff totally untouched. So all the frequencies above the cutoff have a zero gain level, no change, no addition or no deletion. Whereas everything below the cutoff has, you know, either a boost or a cut, depending on the user settings. All right, so how does a low shell filter compare against a low pass filter? Well, a low pass filter is a filter that accepts all the frequencies below a specified cutoff and rejects or attenuates all the frequencies beyond the specified cutoff. Where in contrast, the LSF boost boosts all the frequencies below the cutoff or LSF cut attenuates all the frequencies below the cutoff but these two types they do not alter the frequencies above the cutoff you know they boost or attenuate frequencies below the cutoff but that is relative to the entire spectrum you know they just make no difference to the frequencies above the cutoff they don't eliminate them they just keep them at zero level and attenuate or boost frequencies below the specified cutoff now, the degree to which the boost or attenuation is applied is totally with respect to the user. User can choose to have high attenuation, high gain, or low attenuation, or low gain. This is an example of an LSF boost with 6 decibel gain. So the user can choose two things. One is the amount of gain, in this example is 6 decibel, and the other is a cutoff frequency, the frequency below which the LSF functions and beyond which there is no change. So as you can observe in this graph, you know, approximately from below 100 hertz, there is a boost, you know, especially in the low frequency with 6 decibels gain, and everything beyond 100 hertz is just flat, it's just untouched, zero gain. This is LSF cut, opposite of LSF boost. What happens here is frequencies below the specified cutoff are attenuated by a specified amount. In this case, it's negative 6 dB, whereas the frequencies above the specified cutoff are left untouched, and hence they have a zero gain, whereas all the frequencies below the cutoff have a negative 6 dB gain. All right, let's talk about high shell filter. Well, a shell filter which boosts or attenuates frequencies above a specified cutoff frequency is called a high shell filter. Well, it is opposite of a low shell filter because a low shell filter boosts or attenuates below the specified cutoff and high shell filter boosts or attenuates beyond the specified cutoff. 
and alternately the high shell filter will not alter any frequency below the cutoff it just leaves them untouched and it only plays with frequencies above the cutoff so how is it different from a high pass filter well a high pass filter totally attenuates frequencies below the cutoff and it only accepts frequencies above the cutoff but a HSF boost or HSF cut boosts or attenuates frequencies above the cutoff relative to the entire spectrum. So they don't necessarily remove or eliminate the frequencies below the cutoff. They just leave it, them at zero gain and boost or attenuate frequencies above the cutoff. This is an example of HSF boost with 6 dB gain. The cutoff frequency here is approximately 2000 Hz, which means beyond 2000 Hz, all the frequencies have a 6 dB gain relative to the entire frequency spectrum and frequencies below the cutoff frequency have no change they just have zero gain so here you know the frequencies above the cutoff have been boosted which is the functionality of an HSF boost filter here's a HSF cut filter with negative 6 dB gain so this is just the opposite of HSF boost so the cutoff frequency is still the same approximately 2000 Hz which means all the frequencies above 2000 Hz are subjected to a negative 6 dB gain, whereas frequencies below the cutoff are left untouched. So the frequencies below the cutoff have a 0 dB gain, but frequencies above the cutoff are subjected to an attenuation of negative 6 dB. Alright, so far we have discussed about low shelf and high shelf filters. Let's talk about their advantages. Now, shell filters in general offer great help to achieve the desired tone or sound quality. They apply a gradual amount of gain or cut, you know, to the lower high end of the frequency spectrum. So they tend to sound more natural because, you know, for example, if you want to achieve good bass, so they increase, they use a LSF filter to increase the amount of bass, but without altering the other, you know, parts of the spectrum. And similarly, if you want to make sound more brighter, you can increase the higher end of the spectrum without altering the lower end. So that sounds more natural. But you know, on contrast, if you use a low pass or high pass filter, they just literally attenuate the frequencies above the cutoff or below the cutoff, and it just results in an obvious perception of an edit. It doesn't sound natural anymore. All right, so what are the applications of shell filters? Well, low shell filters are good for cuts and boosts on the base region of the frequency spectrum. As the name suggests, you know, low shelf, they are typically intended for low frequency editing. So instruments that benefit from low shell filters are the instruments with more emphasis on the bass region of the frequency spectrum, such as a solo acoustic guitar, piano, strings, etc. Whereas a high shell filter, you know, boosts can be used to add Christmas and brightness to the sound. So instruments such as hi-hats, cymbals, shakes, they all benefit from high shell filters, even vocals. In general, both LSF and HSF are used for making broad tonal changes because of the reason that they have a gradual gain or a gradual attenuation, as opposed to a pass filters which have an abrupt gain or abrupt attenuation. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.